All right, puppies, I'm gonna need one of you to get this. All right, hang on, you can't both have it. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Jeez, Garrison, hang on a second. <gasps> Go get it. Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna, Garrison was not even close. What the? Why do those headlights look so stupid? I, I just, I just realized these headlights, they look stupid. Why are they up? They're up. My headlights are up. Why are my headlights up? Aren't they supposed to go down? Why have I never thought of this? My headlights are stuck up and they don't go down when you turn the car. I just, I, I knew that that was the case. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. So there's a bug in my car. It's disgusting. It's making all kinds of noise. I hate wasps. This isn't a wasp. This is like a moth. It still sounds gross. It's like, what is this thing right here? Can this save me? It's, it's not working. The, the moth is there. We're just gonna have to ignore it. So the parking brake in my car is absolutely broken. It doesn't work at all. I don't understand why. I think there's like a cable inside there and you gotta fix it and then it'll be fixed and then it'll work. But for now we got this chalk. It's not even a chalk, it's a, a rock. <laughs> or two, two rocks. Pushing the clutch and... Okay, we're good. We stopped rolling. You hear that rattling noise? Apparently that is the honeycomb inside the catalytic converter. And I need an entire new exhaust. Now the exhaust isn't what we're worried about right now. We're worried about the headlights because I don't like the way they look. I hate how they're stuck up like this. I feel like it just doesn't look good. It looks stupid. I want them to go down. Now I watched a video on YouTube and apparently this, this little dongle right here is the key to what we're looking for. Hopefully it works. I mean, this car is like in rusty shape, so uh, uh, I don't know if I have any faith, but boom. Oh, there's still, oh yeah, it's cause it's on, it's on. All right, ready? <gasps> boom. Oh, nothing happened. That was supposed to be the light lock. When I pressed that and turned the lights off, they were supposed to go down. Why didn't you go down? 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 How about you? You wanna go down? Of course. It makes a weird sound when I pull it, like loud. Apparently it's vacuum powered. I don't even know what that means. Well, I mean, I know what a vacuum is. Maybe if I just keep messing with it, it'll work. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. It's not working. We gotta get them down because it just doesn't look good. It doesn't look right. It doesn't feel right, right? Right, oh, I'm getting stuff in my eyes. Oh my God, there's rust in my eye. On a quick side note, if you look under here, this is near the bottom of the radiator. I don't know what this is, but it's a bar that goes all the way. It's rusting. It's like almost decayed. It's like completely rotten right there. What do I do? I'm gonna ignore it. Okay, so this guy on this video, he said you have to pull on this bolt right here. Oh, it worked, it worked. It pulled. Dude. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yes. Oh my God, I've wanted to do that for so long. Ever since I bought this car, I've just had the headlights up and I was like, that looks so stupid and I want them down. <laughs> why didn't I look at that before? Guys, Garrison, why didn't, you, why didn't you tell me about that? He's like, dude, you don't even let me ride in the car. How do you expect me to help you make all, you wanna look my face? You wanna, all right, I, I, I guess I owe him. I guess I owe him a face lick. So if you don't know where I'm at, Basically, this is the grill of the car, and there is just a big open area right here. Actually, it's not big, it's really small. Now, inside the open area, there's this mechanism which has this bolt on it right here. So you grab the bolt like that, and you just pull. You just grab it, and you pull down. It's not working. It's the, oh, yes, yes, it worked. Oh. Now we're just gonna try to lock those down for now because I don't really need them to pop up for any reason. And I feel like if I go driving at night, I can just do the opposite and you can just push it back up. At least that's what the guy said in the video, but look at what we have. Oh my God, it looks so good. It looks so much better than before. I always hated how the headlights were stuck up. Oh crap. We just, we <laughs> thank you car. Well, we're just gonna put this down for now. Try and ignore that because I don't I don't want that to overshadow the fact that wow I've never seen it like this. It's actually oh my it looks so much better. 
Oh my God, I hate those lights. That's like my least favorite feature of the car. Maybe the tail. I know earlier in the C3 generation, the tail went inwards and it just looks so much better. It kind of looked like the C6 tail. I, I, just, I love the way that looks. I know you can convert this. We got water pooling up in this duck bill. <laughs> we got, oh, wait a minute. I saw this earlier and I was super concerned about it. Check it out. There's water pooling up down here under the windshield wipers. And that doesn't look like a place where you'd want water to be pooling up. So I'm gonna either have to get a cover or I'm gonna have to clean out my garage and put the car in there. We're gonna take the car for a ride, but today is the first day that it's supposed to pass 80 degrees. 80 degrees, it's gonna be 82. That's freaking hot, especially here on the East Coast. It's like literally a swelter. You die, there's condensation in the air. It sucks, and I can't do that to my puppy. So it's time, it is time to whip out da, 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 the big guns. This house doesn't have any AC, so every, oh crap, every year you gotta break your back and love one of these big bad boys upstairs. Uh, what do you think, Gary? What is this thing? Do you know what this thing is? He's like, dude, this is a freaking dinosaur prehistoric age machine. Why don't you have air conditioner in your house? To answer your question, Gary, I don't know, but uh, I really hope this thing doesn't fall out. All right, so I got this AC for free. And we're about the moment of truth it. I mean, like, I wouldn't give an AC away if it weren't working, but, you know, I'm just kind of hoping. They said it was working. I'm hoping it's going to work. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? <gasps> it is working. It's cold. It's cold. All right, Gary. So now we get to go for a ride in the Corvette that you can't fit in. You can stay in here and you can enjoy the nice, cool air. Now, like I said, when I showed you the car, it does have its fair share of mechanical problems. It is a bit of a fixer upper. And if we can't be smoking people off the line, we gotta at least win the hearts of the old men who double take as I drive by them. <laughs> Because, I mean, usually it's dudes who want to talk about my car. Dude, look how nice this car looks. I'm just like, I, I, I'm mesmerized. I haven't seen my car with the headlights down since I bought it. I've had this car for a little while now. I've just always been too afraid to do it. I do gotta say, though, having a Prius, I mean, look. It just opens. Oh, crap, it's messy. All the electronics are nice, I do gotta say. But there's also, like, a nice security factor in your head of, like, knowing nothing's ever gonna break. Like, I can just walk up to my Prius right now, grab the door handle, and it'll unlock if I have the key in my pocket. But I know eventually that's going to stop working and I'm going to freak out. I also love how the AC works. And honestly, I, I, I do actually also wish I had AC in my Corvette because it sucks. And today's supposed to be like a, a record hot day of the year. So, uh, I got something to show you. What is this? Money. Can I have some? No. I Can I have some? some? Can I have some? All right, baby, I need your opinion. So, do you like the Corvette better with the headlights up? Hey, you gotta go look at it. We gotta get like the full entire view before you can make a decision. So do you like the headlights up or do you like the headlights down? I finally got the headlights down. I've been trying to get the headlights down since I bought it. I finally got the headlights down. I'm excited about it. What do you think? You wanna sniff it? Good choice, good choice. I kinda like it with the headlights up. It looks more interesting, but this is kinda cool. She's saying that now, but she kept saying she hated those frog lights since day one. And she can't open the door because <laughs> the door handle sucks over there. This is any doggy's first ride in the Corvette. You're very lucky because you're not even my doggy. My doggies didn't even get to ride. You have like the small person discount advantage. You're lucky. <laughs> you want to help me shift? <laughs> okay, we, we won't go there yet. There's a giant moth behind your head. What? See it? Oh my gosh. It's going to get you. Here, <laughs> one of the headlights is back up. Why is it back up? Why? I was so excited. It looks so stupid. I'm probably gonna get my hand chopped off, sticking it in here, not knowing what I'm doing. All right, the light is pulled. It's it's supposed to be getting pulled. It's really resisting my pulling. Like it really wants to go up, but I don't want it to go up. I want it to go down. What if we push this in? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Look at this Mazda. I thought it was a Supra at first. I'm probably just stupid. I think it's cool. Wait, so the ones with like the whale tail symbols are Mazdas? The whale tail? It looks like a whale tail. The whale tail. You like the whale tail or my car? Or that Mustang. Hey, can I get a McDouble? So 
So this is the rear of the car that I initially wanted. This is the early generation of the C3 Corvette. I feel like you said you actually like this one better. And I do too, I like the look, but I saw the inside of one one time and there's about two inches behind each seat. Like there's enough room to store, a couple pieces of computer paper and about nothing else. Here you have literally enough room for a puppy. Like we can put a puppy bed back there, we can put a puppy back there. But with the other thing, you can't. So, I mean, I'm sacrificing, we got the looks, we got the puppies. What's it gonna be? Puppies. What do you think? Puppies, two, two puppies, three puppies, everyone, everyone says puppies. I guess we made the right choice. Good girl, good girl. That's my good girl. Buddy, see? Good girl. That's my good girl. Good girl, that's my good girl. Oh, yes. You want this? Good girl. No, no, not good girl. It's called coffee high protein. My friend showed it to me, and like, I just, I can't get anything else, dude. I can't even try anything else. Because every time I go, I'm like, dude, I want the freaking coffee high protein. It's like, it's like dessert. Apparently, it's good for you. I don't know if it's good for you, but, but apparently, it is. So, right now, I'm heading to my grandparents' house. My grandpa's been wanting to see my Corvette ever since I bought it. And I haven't wanted, I, I just, you know, it doesn't run amazing. I don't want to go there and embarrass myself because, I mean, he has some nice cars, but uh, we're going we're gonna to go show it to him. It looks like he should be home. I think he's home. Is he home? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yep. Body's in decent shape. Tires are in good shape. Uh, 1979. Wow. Is that the year you said you wanted? Back, I remember. Well, you had a big variety. You mentioned a year. Yeah, this is within the year time frame I wanted. They oh. look, they all look the same. It's a 14 wow. years. They kind of looked like this. This needs a paint job, huh? Yeah, it needs a paint job. The in, inside seats are cracked up, so I'll have to get those fixed eventually. So that top comes off. Yeah, both the top comes off, and it's kind of like a convertible. Tires on there. Yeah, I haven't done anything to it since I got it. Yeah, it's really small inside. You're pretty cramped, but... Well, you've got plenty of leg room. I mean, it's what I wanted, and I like it a lot. You get this baby, even though it's got a lot of, you know, scratches and things, but you, you just give it a good clean in and wax it up a little bit. I wouldn't worry about it. Paint job would be expensive in a fiberglass. And I guess this got caught on something and uh, ripped, ripped it. it. Jimmy, in to think of this car. You like it or don't like it? Well, the AC's broken, so she doesn't like it yet, but I think she uh, she thinks it's cool. She just... Well, you got vents, right? Do you get any cool yet through the vents at all? I need to see a new compressor, which is like $200. Okay. And it should be good. I mean, it blows. The heater works fine. Everything blows, so... I think that the honeycomb inside the catalytic converter is loose and it's rattling around, but... How's it runs. Shift okay? Yeah. 91? 79. Okay. Did I ever tell you the story? I was on Route 3, which runs parallel with 95, and there was a state cop on the side of the road. I seen him, I went by him. There's a school over there, I slowed down. Then I sped up a little bit. And all of a sudden, I see the lights, flashing lights, he's pulling me over. I said to him, out of the blue, well, I very seldom go this way. I usually go 195. I'm on my way to East Greenwich to Titan Sporting Goods. He says, what did you say? I said, I'm going to see Titan Sporting Goods. I'm a sales rep. He says, get out of here. I played first base on a softball team. I'm going to call and make sure you're there when you're in another half hour. <laughs> <laughs> How cool was that? He goes, get out of here, I play first mix. <laughs> you can turn right here. Alright. <laughs> he called too. He called about 45 years later. Did he? Yeah, he says, that guy over there. <laughs> they had a good laugh. Everybody had a good laugh on that one. Oh, I'll show you a picture for you. Oh, I, my, my very first car that I got. Alright. Found it out of the archives. All right, well, once I get the new exhaust, you gotta take it for a drive on a video. Yeah, sound, I like sounds. <laughs> my, car, my car sounds really good. What did the guy say that you bought it from? Did, that it, did he value, and was he fairly honest as to what, what he thought it still needed? No, he didn't, no. 
he wasn't even there. It was his wife. Really? And I don't know. I took it for a long drive, and it was driving good enough to where I figured I could just take it and make some videos and mess around with it and hopefully get it in better shape. And it's been running good ever since. So I put 400 miles on it since I got it. Where's the battery? It's in the trunk. Oh. There's a little cover it's under. I might be using in the trunk too. 67 bucks. Wow. A, Black and Decker. Yeah, huh? with a battery. Does it extend? Yeah, yeah, right oh, here. Okay. It goes up and down. Cool. Nice. Five pounds. How much was your, how much did your old one weigh? <laughs> uh, probably 10 plus noisy and a, and a lot of vibration. When I got done after we whack it for a half hour, 45 minutes, my arms were shaking so bad that I could hardly hold a glass of water. So I took it to the shop and he told me I needed to change my spark plugs and I had just told him the day before. So now I don't know if I trust anything he told me. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. So. But I, he told me where all the oil leaks were coming from. That's one thing I wanted to know. Where's that garage? All right, well, that went pretty well. I'm glad we got to go and show that to him. I mean, I didn't want to like step on it. He just got a surgery done today. So I didn't think we were gonna actually go for a ride. But we come out to the car and he's ready to go for a ride. And I'm like, all right, I guess we're going for a ride. <laughs> That's it, it still sounds pretty decent for a broken stock exhaust. It's literally rusted through. I gotta show you guys this exhaust. Oh my god, I'm definitely not gonna fit under the. What is this? We got scratch. Okay, I thought there were scratches. They're not scratches. All right, so if you look under the car, there's a gigantic hole right here. And if the car's cold, you can literally just poke your finger through the rust. <laughs> it's just like it's so bad. Basically, I need an entire new exhaust. There's also exhaust leaks right from the heads of the engine, right where it comes out of the engine. Also, most importantly, well, I don't know if it's important, but my muffler fell off. You can see right there, that's where the muffler rusted through and it just completely fell off. We still have this one. I don't want to wiggle it too much because I'm sure it'll fall off but it barely even has anything coming out of it because there's so many other locations where the exhaust can just leak right out of the system. So it's, it's pretty much shot. But luckily, you know, the frame isn't too bad. It's just the exhaust. I guess it's because they're so much thinner that they can just kind of deteriorate a lot quicker than the frame of the car would. And overall, if it gets a new exhaust, it'll be in pretty good shape. So that'll be fixed in due time, but wow, look how good this car looks with the headlights down. I have not seen it like this since I bought it. And all my, you know what, screw it, here we go. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. I love this car. Anyways, that's gonna cut it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and tune in next time where we feed my Corvette to a giraffe. Later.